WSL2 stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux version 2. This feature allows running Linux on Windows 11 or Windows 10 without the need for a dual boot. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I will show you the easiest way of installing Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on Windows 11 using WSL. This way you can access the Linux Bash shell within Windows 11 computer which helps to run Linux commands that include sudo, grep, diff, nano and more. Thanks to the WSLG, using this feature we can run Linux GUI applications. Not only that, you can pin the Linux GUI applications to the taskbar just like Windows 11 apps. The only prerequisite of this video, you must be running Windows 11 or Windows 10 version 2004 and higher. For demonstration purposes, I will be using Windows 11 in this video. To check which version of Windows is running on your computer, run this command to know more information. Also, if in case you see any updates, just go ahead and install them. It's time to set up a WSL2 on Windows 11. To do so, go ahead and open the command prompt or PowerShell from the search bar and choose to run as administrator. Once it's open, go ahead type WSL and press the enter key. This will give the information about the command usage. If you see all this text, that means the WSL command is already installed on Windows 11 computer. Next up, we're going to run the WSL install command to set up Linux on Windows 11. The only caveat of running this command will install older version of Ubuntu along with other components. Since we are installing Ubuntu 22.04, I don't want the WSL command to use its defaults. Instead, I'm going to install Debian Linux. To do so, first type WSL list online. Now this will list out all the available Linux distributions. Now as you can see, Ubuntu 20.04 was the last version showing over here and not 22.04. Anyway, for now, I'm going to install Debian Linux to complete the basic process of setting up WSL and its components. Just run this command which installs Debian Linux. WSL2 kernel, GUI support, and more. Make sure you have connected to the internet. This will take a few minutes to complete the installation. Once it's done, go ahead and restart your computer. Upon reboot, the command line window will pop up and may complete the post-installation of Debian Linux. Now go ahead and set the username and password to start using Debian Linux. As you can see, at this point, we're done setting up WSL2 and Debian Linux on Windows 11. If you notice, Debian Linux is available as an application and can be accessed from the Windows Start menu. Now, within the command prompt or Windows PowerShell, if I run the WSL list, that will show the installed Linux distributions. It's time to install Ubuntu 22.04 on Windows 11. For that, go ahead and open the Microsoft Store. Using the search bar on the top right, type Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and download this application. Now once it's done downloading, go ahead, open it and start installing Ubuntu on Windows 11. 
As you can see guys, with the help of WSLG, the GUI installer will pop up and ease us out finishing up the Ubuntu 2204. Go ahead, choose the system language and continue. Now create a username and password. On the advanced setup page, leave everything as it is and finish this setup. Now this will take some time, please be patient. Now go ahead and click on finish. And as you can see, we are running Ubuntu 22.04 and the installation was successful. Anyway, now type this command and update the system. Once it's done, restart the computer to affect these changes. Now to launch the Ubuntu instance on Windows 11, open the start menu and search for Ubuntu. As you can see, it's installed as an application and it's very easy to run. Just look at this, how fast the WSL is when compared to other virtual machines. I'm going to install a few commands in Ubuntu and see how it works. As you can see, everything is fine without any issues. Now let's try running Linux GUI apps on Windows 11. But before that, go ahead and open the run dialog and type this command. Choose the display tab from the top. If you have Nvidia graphic card on your computer, go ahead and install the appropriate driver on your computer. This way, WSL to request Windows OS and uses Nvidia drivers for hardware acceleration. Go ahead, look for your model number, then head over to the NVIDIA website and download the driver and install it on your Windows 11 computer. In my case, it's already installed. Now back to the Ubuntu terminal, if I type NVIDIA-SMI, this will show the NVIDIA driver information. As you can see, WSL2 is using NVIDIA drivers, this way the Linux GUI apps will run much better on Windows 11. I'm gonna go ahead and install GIMP and gedit by typing this command. Once it's installed, open the start menu, then under the Ubuntu folder, you can see all the installed Linux GUI applications. I'm gonna open gedit and GIMP, and as you can see, it works fantastic without any issues. And that's pretty much it. This is how you set up WSL2 on Windows 11 and install Ubuntu 22.04 very easily. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if in case you have any suggestions, post them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Royal. I'll catch you in my next one. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something.